back to the channel, Dan Scott's Trucker's Lounge. So the other day, I was on Facebook, and uh, as many of you are, uh, I have a lot of pages that I subscribe to, and I see this guy posted this killer red and white cracker box, just sitting idle and I'm like, man. I know they're not supposed to idle that way, but man, it sounds like it's got a cam. It just sounds so killer. It was a 671, of course, inline 671, puffing out some smoke. But uh, I'm like, dude, that is killer. And uh, I got to looking and seeing uh, he was pretty close. He was like within an hour away from me. So uh, I did a little detective work and got a, got a phone number and... Uh, Got him on the phone this morning and I uh, asked him if I couldn't come and uh, video his uh, truck. He said, sure, come on down. After I get done with my work today, I'll call you, which he did. And uh, he even knew where there was another cracker box. But this one's not running. This one's uh, kind of like that yellow one, only this one's not as nice as the yellow one. But it's still, it's all complete, sitting in the weeds. Um, so uh, he says, I'll take you and show you that one. And it's got a backstory to his. Both the trucks were from uh, a big trucking company around here called Berkmeyer Trucking. Uh, back in the day, they had a ton of cracker boxes, and they just went, you know, all over the place. And you can still find them. So, um, got a great uh, little backstory to uh, this first cracker box. Um, evidently, it went to vineyards, grape growers, and they decided to paint the motor purple. Purple. So, uh, I mean, that's the only reason that we could think that they painted it purple. I mean, come on. Who paints a Detroit purple? So, there must have been the grape connection. But anyways, they went to all different places, different kind of businesses, uh, you know, probably within a two-hour, three-hour radius. So, but anyway, very cool. So, uh, we're going to meet Eric, and we're going to take a look at his killer, former Berkmeyer Cracker Box, 1963. Check it out. Stick around town. I think we're in the right place. Yep. Oh yes. Looky over there. There she be. Here's the view. Got 
said, this guy had it sitting and then he got it running for a while. And I don't know if he did the right thing with it because it's, it's got a blower on it, right? Okay, like 671. All, yeah, but, but it's, uh, he put a turbo on it too. No kidding. So I, that's don't, the way I don't know if that's the right thing to do. Well. Because I think that uh, two power adders at once like that is probably not. I'm afraid of the one time it felt like it was going to run away from me when I went to switch gears. Oh, yeah. The RPMs just started to skyrocket. Luckily, I was able to crack the next gear and drop it in. Right. But from that point on, I've always been like, wow, what if this thing runs away? How am I going to stop it? But it looks good from far, but far from good, right? Oh, man, this is... It's a big boy. Excellent. This is what year? 63. 63. Yep, I got the title and everything. I'm surprised. I didn't know they went to the different logo in 63. I thought it was 65 before they changed those letters. I'm not an expert, but the title says 63. Yeah, yeah. That's about the only difference between the early and late cracker boxes, that lettering. I don't know that much about it. Can you even confirm or deny that's right? I know I've always liked them. I used to see them when I was a kid, and I was always like, boy, those are just, they're sinister looking. Yeah, yeah. That, and that slanted back is, yeah. is, is so iconic. Yep, that is iconic with them, and every time I would I would see that slanted back, I knew what I was looking at. Yeah, right away. yeah. But the other side doesn't have it. 